So Volkswagen recently launched the facelift of the Polo which makes it sportier than ever. Actually that statement is a bit undermining because there was never a time when Polo wasn't a sporty hatchback. So my friend from Germany here is the costliest hatchback in this segment. But with Polo we don't associate money or practicality, we just associate one thing, that's performance. So here we have the recently facelifted Polo GT TDI and in this video we will be doing a road test review of the hatchback and letting you know what are the changes on this hatchback and is, why is it called still the best driver car under 10 lakhs. Changes on the facelifted Polo are just limited to some cosmetic upgrades like new bumpers, revised fog lamp housing, underbody skirts, blacked out rear spoiler, blacked out ORVMs and this new sunset red shade which completes its hot hatch look. And I must say the Polo is one of the very few cars in India that have the ageless design. Inside the cabin you are greeted by an all black dashboard theme with similar colour for the seats. Over the years, the interior design of the Polo hasn't changed much, but there are some bits added over the years like this infotainment system with Android Auto, Apple CarPlay and MirrorLink and this new flat bottom steering wheel over here. There's also the GT line scuff plate, the same old twin pot analog speedometer and cruise control, a feature that is not available in most of the cars in this segment. The center console of the Polo is still very easy for the eyes and not at all cluttered. The fit and finish quality of the interiors is very good and it shows that yes, it is a premium cabin here. Uh, however, it still misses out on some important features like rear parking cameras but yet, the motive of the Polo is not features, it's about the driving. So the Polo comes with a 1.5 litre 4 cylinder turbo diesel engine which produces around 110 bhp and 250 Nm of peak torque paired with a 5 speed gearbox. You might be thinking that's too much power or too much torque for a small car like this but believe me that's the game of the Polo. The free driving engine has torque spread out all over the range till it reaches 2500 rpm the engine remains very calm and offers linear power delivery. Even if you are at lower speeds and higher gears, the Polo manages to pick up easily without any downshifting. It's just its nature is such that it keeps you at an exciting RPM to drive. The turbo kicks in from 2500 RPM and from that you have a sudden rush of power coming in. It, in one second it turns from a calm engine to an aggressive one. Reaching triple digit speeds is a very easy chore for the Polo. However, despite all these positive notes, the engine of the Polo is not at all refined. There are fair vibrations coming in through the cabin even when you are on idle or even if you are going at lower RPMs. If you rev up the engine, then you can literally hear a roar inside the cabin even with all windows up. So the 5-speed manual gearbox over here is not that smooth. The clutch is also on the heavier side which might pose a problem to some while you are going in the traffic. The gearbox of the Polo is perfectly synchronized with the engine, leaving a wide grin on your face every time you upshift. Moving on to the handling part, man, Volkswagen Polo is such a sweet handling machine. You have a light flat bottom steering wheel which is very direct. You can easily take quick turns and high speed corners on the Polo. You feel the steering wheel is very light when you are moving inside the city and it builds up adequate weight when you are going at high speed so it gives you an assuring steering feedback as well. Talking about the suspension part, the setup in the Polo is balanced out so it manages to soak up most of the potholes and damaged road but if you are going at very high speed, you can feel some of it inside the cabin. I would say the, the ride remains very well planted while you are cruising at high speeds and even on high speed corners but there is a teeny bit of a body roll which you can expect if you are moving at high speeds. 
talking about the brakes despite getting disc brakes only on the front the bite of the brakes is really strong and perfect and it comes to an assuring halt even while you're coming from triple digit speed so summing up the Volkswagen Polo facelift GT TDI it is priced at rupees 9.88 lakhs ex showroom making it the costliest hatchback in this segment but with the polo you don't get to fulfill all your practical needs or all your family needs it's just for you the driver you get to fulfill your perfect driving experience and the adrenaline to drive a car but of course if you want something more we would recommend you to go with the polo gt tsi which gets the turbo petrol engine with Volkswagen's famous dsg gearbox it has been a decade now since the polo has been with us in india and since that time not the, not the design nor the interiors has been changed and is not one of the most feature equipped cars in the segment but yes it is the best driver's car that you can buy under 10 lakhs so if you liked watching this video please give us a thumbs up share this video and subscribe to car blog india for more such car reviews and bike reviews this is your host tarun kocha signing off thank you